Hi, I'm Phil. And Deeb. <laughs> We've got no drinks. <laughs> Everyone likes to do an end of year, you know, top 10 or something along those lines. And we were thinking, well, how do we do a top 10? Because it's always on display. I thought, we've got so many bottles that we're so desperate to taste. Why don't we do a top 10 of our favorite bottles that we've never tasted? <laughs> what does what do you make of that? Apple Zutina. Because <laughs> some of them we've had for a long time, haven't we? Like, um, something we've had for a long time. What about this one? Long one sixteen. Actually, I'm, I'm, there's going to be a recurring theme here where where Roy is Roy is guilty <laughs> for a lot of these bottles. Aquavitae Roy, of course. So Long Morn 16 is one of those ones that at the beginning of our whiskey journey, um, it was very up there on people's anticipation of a great bottle. And we've had one. It was very, very difficult to get it. Yeah, I had to get it from the auction. Two or three times, you try, try, try. Let's see, Jan, Feb, March, April. So we've had this since April. And uh, it's in our blind, it's, it's in our blind tasting, and we've shared it with other people. Ah, now. We were in the aisle, too much ago, and we were at the malt floor. Yeah, we were on the malting floor at Kilhoman. And we struck, and it was so good. Yeah, we tasted this, this, uh, this is the ninth edition, on the malting floor, before it was in a bottle, so we couldn't buy it. And this is one that we picked up just yesterday. <laughs> Uh, $115. Yeah, but what about then? What about, hmm, what about Compass Box? Another one that we have had around, this is No Name One, and we've had this since November 18. So this is, look, I've even got my own dust on my dusty bottles. Uh, so this has been sitting around. Now, I think I would rather have long morn than compass box. Where do you put Kilhoman? <laughs> oh, you're putting Kilhoman up there. <laughs> okay, so what else have you got? Ah, oh, compass box. What's that one? Oh, this is Kleinlish. Let me do. Um, I've had Kleinlish 14. Where, where's that from? From uh, New Zealand. We got to blame Roy for this again, but yes, this is from New Zealand. This is Kleinlish, uh, twenty-two year, and I'm blaming Roy because it's another one of. This isn't the same cask as his. This is eight six seven three, but it's close enough. What What do you like about Kleinlish? It's a herby. Yeah, we've always liked Kleinlish fourteen. <laughs> so we're desperate to see what a cask strength 22 is, so is this where it is? <laughs> oh, I see, okay. Okay, then. This is similar though, isn't it? Port Charlotte, MRC01. Again, another one that's been shared. A lot of these bottles are shared that other people have tasted it before even we have. MRC01, uh, we've had this half a year. I've heard so much about it, and it's peated. Yeah, it's peated, but it's, you know, sort of experimental cask finishes and stuff. But we did, we really enjoyed Bunnehaven, didn't we, when we were at the distillery? What, you keep... <laughs> what, you keep putting everything at the front? Let me see. Let, I think I should have a decision here. Port Charlotte ahead of Kilhoman. Oh, ahead of Kleinlish? I don't know. I think, I think... <laughs> okay, is it my turn? No, it's your turn. Well, you're next. I know, it's easier. Oh, my turn. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is putting a freedom. That was, that was one that I got at the auction. Spirit of Freedom is... Do you know what it is exactly? Not really. It's, it's Mitchell and Company, so it's Springbank Cadenhead. Um, but it is a 30 year old blend and it is 46%. Now it doesn't mean to say it's Campbelltown 
necessarily. But we're hoping it's a good 30 year blend. And we sort of got excited when we saw it at the Springbank distillery <laughs> in the glass cabinet. And I saw the bottle and it split back. The yeah. other cat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, $160 and another one that we've had, it was another auction purchase. Would you rather have that or compass box? I think I'd yeah, compass box. Real, <laughs> oh, you want it more than Kleinlish? What about more than Port Charlotte? No, okay. All right. So, so, so. <laughs> Here's an odd one. Actually, let's, let's make a little gap in the middle. Balekin, Balekin, Balekin. Straight from the cask, it's open Ooh, because again, a sample has been shared. This is 13 years Burgundy cask mature. So Balekin is um, Peter Tobermory, isn't it? This was just a little oddball one. I think Ralphie might have talked about this one. Not necessarily, you know, praising it, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's such an odd one. I just want to know what it tastes like. And we've had it for 10 months, um, waiting for it to go into blind tasting. So <laughs> I think if I had to, if I was at a bar and had to choose, I think I would have to put it in here. Okay, we've got to keep a gap. Okay, let's go, let's squeeze that way. Uh, your turn. I knock. <laughs> Anoch 24, I think this is one that both of us have no idea about and we just still don't know. Where, where are you putting it? Okay. I'm going to challenge your Anoch with a Lefroig 18. Uh, we've had it about seven months. No, more than that, eight months. And again, don't... So many... No, of course. Now, of course, we've had Lefroig, so it's not like we don't know what Lefroig's like. But... Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Ben Evers! Uh, oh, ben Evers! Now, we're jumping ahead a little bit in time, so you're seeing a little bit into the future of our blind tasting. But uh, Ben Nevis is fantastic. Oh, it it's it, 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 do, Papa. Yeah, this is one we picked up um, on, on the Scotland trip uh, back in September, I October. I think I'd rather know what the Ben Nevis is like than Longmore. Oh, no, you know, I... Oh, yeah, it's, it is, isn't it? Well, maybe... Maybe, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, the only problem is... What about Highland Park 25? <laughs> oh no, um... Where, what, you know, if you were at a bar and they said, you can have Highland Park or Spirit of Freedom 30, and you can never have the other one ever again, what would I want to, I think I would have to try Highland Park. Okay. But then, wait, hang on. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'd keep, maybe I'd swap. No. Uh, we, we don't know any that about No, I think I'd have to give the blender. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's it. Uh, Optimore, oh. there's part three. Optimore or... Uh, uh, so much about this. Okay, Optimore or Anok. You know, we've, we have had it. Okay, we've actually tasted Octomore 6.3 at the distillery, but it had been in the barrel for five more years. So we haven't really tasted it. And that time of you, the people not that so. So hopefully, okay. that have you. I would definitely. Yeah, but that, okay. we'd have to. Okay. <laughs> so Octomore, at, least. at the very least. What's this little bottle? Oh, I, I like it very much. This is Red Breast. Yeah. The Red Breast 12 cask mm. strength. I don't know. Well, this, you can't really read it, I know. Red Breast 
21 year old. Um, this is a sharing bottle with one of our locals. And so I like the idea that we've acquired this one by sharing. If I had to, oh, I'd probably, oh. <laughs> I would have to say. Um, I prefer this. <laughs> No, no, no. No. No, it's been for it's been for. That doesn't matter. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go no, no name. Red breast instead of no name. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's similar? Oh, I would rather go Octomore, Talisker, Balekin, Longmorn. Oh, okay, okay, get it up. Oh, we're gonna give oh, up Kilhoman. Well, okay, to be fair, we have tasted Kilhoman. It was one tiny sip, but at least we have the memory. Are we putting it this high though? Talisker eight. I guess it, instead of, no, I've got to, I've got to put it ahead of, ahead of, uh, no, behind. Mm -hmm. Okay, we finished? <laughs> no. Okay, we, I know we don't have a spring bank. We have a long row. This long row is a 15 year single cask Chardonnay finish and it has been shared and the other people who have tried it said that it was fantastic or at least interesting. So this is more about curiosity. I think I would have to trade the Balechin for a long row. Oh, <laughs> no! Uh, Amontelado. Amontelado? All right, let me give you a challenge. If you're in the barn, they say Anok or Le Jeg. You want the Le Jeg? This is one that Ralphie recommended, definitely. And we have had this since November 2018. And again, have shared it. Oh, I see you'd rather have it there. Well, what about that then? Oh no. <laughs> Um, again, get it up. Because okay. I've been out here, I've got any protein. Yes. But not this. Another, I think we have to blame Roy for this then. I would rather have this, the Moigne. The Moigne or Highland Park. I kind of know what Highland Park's going to be like. I don't know what that's going to be like. Oh. Uh, Port Charlotte, I think I'm gonna trade. Wait, Ben Nevis is still hanging out up here? Your sister sent it, Hibiki 21. I mean, where are we going to get to try that? I tried, I was supposed to be at the opera, it's very unusual, so it's when you want. Japanese or Irish, the Jake, oh. Longmorn. Okay, I'm gonna switch Longmorn for Hibiki. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> Okay, te technically we have tasted this. We at the warehouse tasting, right? It was so good. 57.9, it's a 19 year old. Are you swapping something? What about the Lejeg? No, no, I've, won. I've never tried. Oh no, there's still some more. Oh, wow. We've only tasted a 12 year old Bal Blair, which this came from Puja. I have a very um, but. But this is not a 12 year old, is it? 1983 is 30 something years old. And I can't calculate. And of course it's the old label that doesn't tell you. Bell Blair or 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Something has to go though. Ah. I can get the. No, no, Otto. No. no. <laughs> Poor shot. Oh, get that up. Okay. I'm going to give up my long. Oh, no. Okay, but Ben Nevis. But Ben Nevis is at the top. You know, I'd kind of forgotten about Ben Nevis up there. It was it was lurking in plain sight. Right, Bal Blair, eighty three. <laughs> oh no no oh, no! no. Brookladdy, four point one. Uh, black art. Uh, but, but, Would you? Okay. I think four point one rather than than okay. What about, what about if you had to choose? How many have you got down there? <laughs> Springbank 21. Okay. No. It's got to go in. Oh no, come on, there's got to be something down here. No, I want to try that. Okay. High okay. Part, legit, come on. Okay. Gonna spring back. Oh, or Hibiki. What uh, about Dark Cove? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Dark Cove. Oh, I beg Dark Cove or Talisker or Redbreast. Okay, Octomore. Yeah. No, it's it's the only one Irish one. <laughs> yes. Talisker Bona Moina. Okay, I think I'll Ah, oh, here. What about that? Rosebank. Look, it even comes with a cushion. <laughs> Rosebank 21. Um, hold on. Let's just talk about this for a moment. I bought this Rosebank 21, to be honest, to, to flip it. Or, I don't know. This is the most expensive bottle we have now. And... This is Rosebank 12, Roy. which was the Ralphie bottle that he left with Roy in the live stream. And Roy gave us a sample. We had one in Scotland and we have this one that we haven't had yet. I mean, it's got to be up there, hasn't it? Yes. And you have to remove. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Octomore. No, I want Octomore more than other things. Octomore or Long Row? <laughs> Octomore or Dark Cove? Or oh, Ipiki. That just seems unfair. What are we what are we having to Alright? Now only I the first move but I know I have back. But at least I'm familiar with the experience of Highland Park. These ones. Ooh. Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's got to be it, isn't it? There we go. Oh, but about this? Ah, she got in a dash, you know, about this. All right, it, this is crazy bottle though, isn't it? Daft Mill. Here's the thing about Daft Mill. This is the 2006 summer release. We were able to buy it at retail. But retail in the US is still stupidly expensive. I hope the money goes back. I hope the that, yeah. Ban. It's like we want to support the idea of Daft Mill. We don't want to contribute to the problem of the pricing. The thing is, it's only a 12 year old. It can't really live up to the price, but there's still a great anticipation to try it. But it's easy to look at battery. I. 
would have to replace what would you push off to try a daft mill? <laughs> I mean, it's it's a lowland. Oh, lift it up. No, no, I'm not giving up Balblair. Black art or daft mill? Hibiki daft mill. Okay, uh, dark cove or daft mill? Moigne or daft mill? I think the long the long row has to go. Oh, you probably put back. No, bring it back. <laughs> Bunner's gonna go. <laughs> okay, finally. So that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. I thought Bamu. I... Springbank, local barley, 16. Technically, we haven't blind tasted Springbank, except we blind tasted the local barley to decide whether we should even buy the 16. And, you know, we've been a, <laughs> we've been a great fan of Isla Barley, and it's got this same farmyardy kind of thing going on it. And it's so fresh. Now, all of this, now this is in our blind tasting somewhere, but this has been shared down and we did finish off the last little bit. Okay. Get your hands off that ball, Blair. Let's start at the bottom. No, 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 no. Would you rather have Octomore? Red breast. Okay, this is this has got nothing to do with taste. This is just our personal anticipation. No, uh, right uh, now, that means Octomore is getting pushed off unless. No, I'll probably keep that best when you buy. Octomore six point three or the long row or the. Oh, it's very. Oh no, Vicky. Oh, you get give a bad art. Black art, four point uh, one. I prefer bad art. Or Octomore. <laughs> it's it's got to be the Octomore. The Octomore six point three. Oh. Okay. There you go. Our top 10 most anticipated whiskies that, that we've never tasted. Redbreast 21, Long Row Single Cask Chardonnay, Daff Mill, Summer Release, Ardbeg, Dark Cove, Springbank 21, this happens to be the 2019 edition, Hibiki 21, Brooklady Black Art 4.1, Al Blair, 1983, Rosebank, 21, Springbank, Local Barley. Shall I just put them all in the blind tasting? Yeah, <laughs> have you? No, but I could. Yeah, that would be good.